Hello, welcome back. Last time I started Gentry Eye Prison and found a few rooms approachable and others just completely untouchable. Like this one. I don't want to be here. <laughs> uh, however, I did have some insight into this southern room that I came to and could not quite get through. I saw a move that I think will solve all of my problems. It was not the most obvious thing. I had to really look for it, but uh, there's a very specific arrangement of powder keg that does what I need. Okay, so in order to do this, I need to do... Yeah, that powder keg's retrievable. Gentry Eye comes here. Uh, right, so my problem last time was I could move the Gentry Eye from here to here, but I couldn't find any way to move it from here to here uh, without causing all kinds of problems. Uh, but the way that I can do that now I've discovered... Um, wait a second... Okay, I have to remember how to do this part. I think I do this, mm -hmm. and then my powder keg's in the wrong place. Uh, if I had put it... Oh, right, I can stash it over... Oh, shoot. I can stash it up here. Alright, powder keg sits there for a moment. With my freedom of movement, I bring a gentry eye along. Lock him up there. And then what I can do is move this powder keg into a very special location here. The spot was... Oh shoot, how will I do this? Okay, so this may still be tricky. I want to get it where I'm standing. How do I do that, though? Like this. There we go. Alright, so what this allows me to do is the gentry eye goes there, his chain can keep him in place when I move him up here, and then I can do everything else I need it. Okay, that should solve all of my problems, except for how to get this powder keg back, but I guess that's solved by doing this. Okay, um... I don't want to be ferrying it around right now, so let's just do that. Okay. And, uh, well, no, in order to get it back, I need... Uh, here. You go th there? Here? How about there? Okay. Okay. Room solved. So I just needed that one very specific spot to put the powder keg, and everything works out. Cool. Uh, I don't want to be here. <laughs> so this room up here... No, not that one. I've had, I've spent a little bit of time thinking about this room with the really long chain gentry eye in it. I don't know, don't know exactly what I want to do here, but I need to try some things. Um, it would be nice if I could do some sort of, sp like this is complicated in so many ways. I'm going to try just a few patterns and see where they go. So what if I let you go through the middle here, just like that, and then back. And then around again. Around here like this, maybe. That doesn't feel like it's using all of my space as efficiently as it could be used, but let's see how close it gets. No. Uh, no, I needed to go... What can I do differently with this barrel here? Like, it's... I just don't have enough obstacles here. Like, this is a huge amount of chain to still spool into this area somehow. Like, I wonder if there's just a, a gentry eye chain manipulation strategy that I don't know about. So I do know that I haven't used the stick yet. Let's try doing some more stuff with the stick. Presumably it's crucial for this somehow. So I can pull you all the way up there. That unravels your chain that far. Now if I just if I pull you over this way, you're just going to um like I can't 
I can't use up this space and have it keep pulling the chain because then it just straightens the closer part rather than the farther part or not. How the heck do gentry eye chains work? Nonsensically, I see why people complain about them so much. Okay, so knowing this, does this lead me somewhere good? Hmm. So now this has happened and is stable, apparently? How? How does that make any sense? Uh, okay. So, despite all logic, I'm actually able to wrap like this. Now, the thing is, I'm trapped here. Um, I'm on the inner part of this wrap that I'm performing. This is so confusing. Is this different? Hang on. Wait just a second. If you pull... Well, no, I mean, it's... It's not different pulling with the stick. It's, it's the same. Like, it's... Mm, the same as the gentry eye actually moving on its own, I think. So if you just pull yourself, you go like that. Okay, so let's see if I can learn more about that. Uh, uh, mm. Go back. Back here. So without worrying about actually being able to get out, let's see how far I can get here. Like, I was able to do some silly thing like this. So if I make just 45 degree bends, it seems like those are special in some way or something. See now, even with all that, that's still not enough space. Not even close. Like, I have to fill basically every... Let's count. So this is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six by two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Six times fourteen basically would get me to there. So six times fourteen plus one. Uh, six times fourteen would be how much? Uh, Seventy-six. No, that's not right. What am I doing? Um, 74? I don't know, something like that. Uh, this is... 2, 3, 4... Hey. Hey, how did I get here? <laughs> uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. 11 by 12 minus... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Eleven times twelve minus eleven is one hundred twenty-one. Um, so I mean, I have a little bit of—I don't have to fill absolutely every space in here with this number, but I have to get like two thirds of it or so. Mm. All right. So my previous exercise showed me that there's clearly stuff I just don't understand about gentry eye chain wrapping. Let's try. Let's just see what happens. If I were to attempt to wrap this guy down here and then just up and then back and forth, something like, I don't know, that? Sure, it's a start, I guess. Go there, go there. Oh, uh, now you're stuck. Um, is there a way I could... Uh, 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 mm. I want you to do something specific here. I need I need my I need my stick facing another another way. Maybe this will work. Yeah. So is that useful? Like I mean it's just gonna unravel the chain that's that's close here. 
Yeah, like that's what I expect to happen normally. And this is a lot of unused space. And I'm not doing my back and forth pattern anymore, so mm, nothing seems right about this. Yeah, look at that unravel. So what I need to do is preserve this space so I can shove him through there. Okay. How would I do that? This right here would be a great spot for a checkpoint. I guess I'll step on that one. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, no, I can't reach to, to move him before I step on this. How do I get this to go away? Maybe I could... go around this way. Well, no, I mean, now that this segment is here, there's no getting... Well, no, hang on. There was a tricky move that I did to somehow get a straight vertical chain all the way up and down this side, wasn't there? It doesn't seem like that's happening. Like, once he's moved there, I can't make it straighten. Hmm. Not in any way that I currently know, at least. Yeah, and if he does that, I just can't straighten out this segment, can I? So maybe that means I need to use my resources differently? Oh, there we go. So how does that work? <laughs> Why? Mm. Who knows? Gentry eye chains are weird. Uh, one of the most illogical drought elements, I think. Uh. Okay, but like this pattern that I have going here feels reasonably good, I think. Maybe. Um, it's not the worst thing. Uh, now what do I want to do? Let's try back and forth and see how far it gets. See, now I have kind of like a big empty void here that I'm not sure how I'm going to fill yet. Uh, uh, uh. Well, that's not what I want. Uh, and here's another, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven tiles of wasted space is a lot when my space requirements are this strict. And I can't get you to do some kind of tricky straightening thing. Um, hmm. hmm. uh, hmm. like this feels like about the best I'm going to do with normal methods. So when this inevitably fails, which it kind of already has, I think I'm going to have to resort to abnormal methods. Yeah, that's still not even slightly close. Like, I have a huge amount left to go. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I have twenty-four more spaces to fill here. like this room at all. This is horrible. Why does this exist? Seriously, why would he make a room like this? I have serious doubts that this is going to be going to look pleasant when I when all is said and done. Like for some rooms, that I don't immediately get. I can tell that something cool is going to happen when I when I understand it. This one's kind of the opposite. It's like this is just this is just not going anywhere good. <laughs> so if you go there and then come around this way, ouch. about all I have at this point. 
This doesn't feel any better than like the, the early stuff that I was trying. Other than that it does kind of leave me a narrow little path down here. So that'll be your final obstacle. Is there anything I can do in this area just to to make your chain longer? Like it seems like I have to just lose a huge amount of chain potential in moves like this. Like if I go through here and just have you do stuff like... See, I think there's some sort of principle of like slack chain versus taut chain that's at work here in a way that I don't really understand. I think that's worse than my last attempt. Like, look at this big area of empty space. What would you do about that? Well, let me try something different. You go straight up all the way. Uh, here, no, I want you to go actually straight up. So I can straighten that. Uh, uh, uh. And then come on this side, yes. Yes, this side. Actually. Well, I mean, that's... Uh, neither way is better than the other. Like, however I wrap this, I'm going to have an empty row on the top or the bottom. Uh, the top and the bottom. That's unavoidable. Uh, so this is essentially 12 by 9. Or no, 11 by 9. So that's a lot less space that I can afford to waste. Like, when I'm doing stuff like this... Hmm. What I want is to be able to move you into here like that. Is that helpful? Because then that preserves this space on the east of this barrel, which I can then wrap around again in the other direction. So maybe that's good. This gives me some space, so I guess I'll try and do that. Or can I just, like, use this open space and make that weird pattern that was somehow stable for no obvious reason? Uh. Hmm. Oh, hey. Well, no, there's no way that's going to work. Here, let me try something. If I wrap you all the way around, like, I don't know, this, just show me what your chain does if you head in there and then go through that. Like, it unravels there. That's, that's expected. If I could have put this chain section here instead of there, then I could maybe get... Uh, that's of no use. Hmm. Alright, well, I guess I'll continue this attempt and see how close it gets me, even though I, I know it's going nowhere good. And see, like, this is not even making any progress on this. It's just, just unwrapping that way. So that arrangement is not stable in the way that I thought it might have been. Okay. So with your tightening chain there, does that give me any new possibilities for things I can accomplish? No. Of course not. Oh. Just tuck in there for a moment. Now, okay. So here's something. If I can temporarily stretch out the chain in such ways, then maybe I can get this stretched enough That would just mean... That would just mean that I'd solve the puzzle, basically. Um, hmm.
what am I trying to say here? Um, it seems like there are ways I can temporarily stretch the chain. See, it looks kind of like I'm trapped in here, but I'm not quite... Well, now I might be. Eight. What? Why? Why would you do this? I'm not doing this room. That can stay there for forever. Alright, so what's this? I have some clones. Uh, so I'm supposed to manipulate... I need to sequentially press those and get out here. Okay, so first let's My do... My name is Bethro. Yeah, I know it is. Why... Okay. Um, here, you do that. And do this. Um, what do you do if I do this? See, it's acting almost as though I'm supposed to have it in this arrangement and then keep it there. Or I guess, no, I only need it there for a turn. I can take any one of these Bethros in there. It doesn't have to be the one who walked in here. And in fact, I might need to keep that one around for manipulating. So let me first focus on just getting a guy through these doors. It can be this one. There's no reason it can't. Yeah, you keep your chain there. Okay, well that's a start, I guess. Now I can't move you north, uh, east. Unless maybe some trickery here. No, I need the help of this guy. Okay. Well, I could move one of these around. Yeah, I can move these out into the arena. So, let me do that. You'll simultaneously do this. Get you closer. Okay, so you're here now. That's cool. So you're a free-moving throw. You, the Chantry I will just stay in place there, which is nice. Okay. Okay. Also, these guys can stand on the pressure plates. Oh, wait, right. So it's not just... <laughs> it's not like the gentry eye has to be the one to step on the pressure plates. These guys can do it, too. In fact, uh, look at this. That makes this much easier. Because then I can just fold the gentry eye into itself, kind of. Do some of that, and I'm nearly stable. I conquered the room. If I can just walk through here, which I totally can. Okay. Well, that was a totally fine, easy room. No problem. This one I didn't make too much of an attempt at. Uh, I did not quite get how to put both of those up here and here. I think I see now. You go in place first, then I use this space to move the other one onto that pressure plate. I don't know what the thin ice is for. Yes, I do. The thin ice is to position you up there. Okay, got it. So, get one far away, stuck on itself... Like that is fine, uh, except it's not, because he'll come through there. Okay, well, uh, temporarily, let's do that. Mm, that's no good. So what if you're here, and you come this way? I won't have enough room to get away from that one. Okay, so the trick is stashing one in such a place that it's out of my way, but I can retrieve it later. So what meets that description? Chain here, head here. Okay. I just need to accomplish that somehow, like this. Uh, some other way than like that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, 
That is non-trivial, it seems. I could start you up this way if I had a little bit more room on that one. Yeah, if I could just get somebody started up this path while the other one is out of my way, then that would be nice. Uh, right, vertical preference, so you did that, then that. Oh, hey. That's not as bad as it could be, however, I am still dead here. This goes nowhere, right? Yeah, that goes nowhere. This also goes nowhere, so I'm there's no way out of this situation is what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, no way out of that, okay. So what lets me actually escape and do something useful? This? Mm-hmm. No. No. Not that. It's this. Okay, so this is the set of moves that lets me get away without dying. Here, you... If you're in the other order, can I swap your order? Get number one over here, number two someplace else. Not this way, I can't. If I were circling around the other pillar, maybe? Huh? Hmm. See, all I'm doing is going around in circles here. It's still number one on the left, number two on the right, so I... I feel like I need to swap those. Because that way I could convince number one to start up this way, and uh, would that actually help me? Hmm. Seems like a set of moves I can make here is pretty limited. I did something different, slightly. Is it useful? Uh, maybe it could turn into something useful. This is not... Okay, things are happening. Oh, hey, you went over there. That's interesting. That lets me... Yeah, that lets me do that. Okay, great. This is what I wanted. Now you need to go exactly here. Exactly here. You go up there. Okay, now I'm good. Uh, assuming I can get you to go north in there somehow. Now how would that happen? By getting trapped in your own chain, that's how. You go here. You go here. Uh, wait, no. No, no, no. You go here, and there, and then up. Okay. Done. <laughs> Alright. So that's this entire level clear. There are no more rooms to do. I finished all the required rooms, and I'm done with Gentry Eye Prison. <laughs> yup. See you next time for another entry.